Good morning everybody and welcome to another video from Tall Travels. Today I'm in the city of Barnaul. Now Barnaul is in the Altai region of uh, Russia, not far from Novosibirsk where I came from yesterday. So let's go and have a look around. Right everybody, we have a very big uh, war memorial here, not far from the train station. And it looks like they have the names of many of those who died in the Great Patriotic War. Pretty impressive they put every single name. Stras for chat. <laughs> right everybody, we're now at the column part of this memorial and as we can see we got two young men here. There we have it everybody, emotions are clearly running high here in the city of Barnaul in Altai region of Russia. I'm sure this uh, city has uh, lost a lot of men in the conflict across the border. Okay everybody, so I'm now outside Barnaul bus station. So, the reason I've been in the bus station is to buy a ticket. And the ticket is to go to the uh, city of Semei in Kazakhstan. So it's a little city or town just across the border in Kazakhstan, but it's going to take me nine hours on the bus. And I don't think I've ever taken nine hours on a bus to go anywhere in my life. And because I'm Mr. Tall, of course, it's going to be painful. I can imagine that it's not going to be a very comfortable bus or coach. So yeah, the good news is that I paid a lot less than I was expecting. I paid 1,600 rubles where I was on the internet it was something like 2600 rubles but i think it's one of those third party websites you know that are not actually official and they charge you a lot more it's a good it's a good business idea to be honest you know i should just start some website selling bus tickets or train tickets double the price and kind of make the uh, site look official you know so if any of my followers have got the programming skills then let's do it oh and i tell you what guys the bus station might look shitty <coughs> but uh, the service is very good in there and the ice cream is delicious. So yeah guys, the reason for going to Kazakhstan is to get a new stamp in my passport and uh, also I need to post something from Kazakhstan because there's problems with the Russian post at the moment because of sanctions. Hey everybody, I was uh, back home for a while. It's now 4.30 in the afternoon because earlier on in the day I ran out of battery power. I forgot to charge my battery. So. Yeah, I've been recharging. Let's have a look around now. Every bus that I've seen in Novosibirsk has got a Z on it. Uh, I get the feeling that Barnaul is the most Z city in the whole of Russia. Well, look everybody, there's guys on the roof there. Don't jump, Barnaul isn't that bad. Let's go and have a look around in the center of Barnaul. I used to call this city Barnau, you know, like the bird, but then I figured out how to say it correctly. As we can see everybody, in uh, Barnaul, no expenses spared when it comes to roads and pavements. I was looking at the map earlier and I realized that Barnaul is not only close to Kazakhstan, but it's also close to China and Mongolia. So, I could go probably take a bus about eight hours in another direction or another direction and yeah go to China or 
Mongolia. I probably have to navigate some pretty steep mountains and I'm not sure they'd like me turning up at a mountain border post. Something else I haven't told you is I've actually been to Barnaul before. I was passing through this city, when was it? A couple of years ago, I think. Uh, I did some filming here, but I didn't make the video for some reason. Maybe I wasn't long enough here or something. Now I just waited till there was nobody around on this pavement because I'm just about to insult Barnaul. This is probably the worst street I've ever seen in the center of a city. It's like Tetris, look. Another brick in the wall, one block after another, after another. Absolutely zero charming about this street whatsoever. And the other side of the street isn't much better either. Now, I arrived last night in Barnaul from Novosibirsk and uh, yeah, I didn't have much time yesterday, but the impression I get about this city, it's quite a rough place. It's quite, uh, you know, working class here. I saw a lot of boy racers driving around last night, pumping out uh, Russian rap music in their dodgy cars. I can't remember too much about my last visit to Barnaul, but I remember the main street in the city, Lenina Street. It's uh, yeah, very uh, Soviet nondescript street that goes on for a long way. Bloody hell. Right, everybody, I remember this scary underpass from when I was last in Barnaul. Bloody hell, guys, this is sketchy as hell. So on the other side of the road, this area is pretty much completely charmless. Uh, there's some um, theatre here. Yeah, nothing special. These columns are giving it a thin veneer of grandeur. Okay, guys, this area is pretty awful. I can imagine if I went down that street, I'd just walk for miles. It'll be, yeah, Tetris. The same over and over and over. Oh, this guy's got the right idea, look. Beautiful weather for having a beer. Guessing that that big building is the most desirable place to live in Barnaul. It's got a big spire on the top. This building is, uh, well, all right, I suppose. It'd be nicer if they painted it white instead of gray. Got a shop there called Drink King, Drinking. All right, chaps, I'm now on uh, Lenina Street. This is the main drag in the city. Now, the problem with this street, everybody, is when you're walking on one side, you can't see what's on the other side. It's a bit far away and there's uh, lots of trees in the middle. What I've noticed about Barnaul so far is it's uh, a greener city than Novosibirsk, I think, which is good. And uh, Barnaul is in the Altai region of Russia. This is... Uh, uh, Altai is reputed to be a very beautiful part of the country, so I'm sure if you go a couple of hours in one direction, then you get to the start of the mountains. So far, everybody, I have to say, Barnaul reminds me of another city I've been to in Russia that uh, I don't like very much, and that is Yekaterinburg. Now, I went to Yekaterinburg a couple of years ago. I don't know why, I was on the way to Novosibirsk, and uh, I did not like this city at all. There is nothing endearing about the place. And also, I ended up in hospital in uh, Yekaterinburg. I didn't tell you about that. All right, everybody, we've got another grand building here, though uh, almost completely charmless. And behind it, a mobile phone mast, 5G possibly, frying the brains of the locals. 
Oh, this street sucks everybody. Nothing interesting as far as the eye can see. Alright everybody, I finally found something kind of interesting. It says Altaiski Gosturstveni Universitet. So it's the university, of course, Altai University, and we can see flags there. Now, I was walking around a bit earlier and I saw there's some like Middle Easterners here in this city, so I suppose they have a lot of, or some, international students. So we can see some of the flags there. There's a Thailand flag, it's the wind will blow and help me out a bit. Maybe that's Iran there, can't see quite. I see the Armenian one down there, Indian flag, Azerbaijan. I'm pretty good with flags, aren't I? Uh, no gay flags like in Estonia. So, looks like we have some notable people from Barnaul from yesteryear's Strasbourg. This guy's got a bit of the Elvis Presley look. Oh, hello. She looks like some Soviet actress. Maybe these were famous Barnoulians. Film director. Singer, perhaps. Cosmonaut. Okay, everybody, so we're in some big open area. And Barnaul is at last starting to look a little bit interesting. Oh, look what we've got here. It's a big man again. This is a pretty big Lenin. That's one of the biggest ones I've seen in Russia. And this big building here, I presume, is a university. Very big building. Now, it's a pretty busy city with quite a lot of traffic, but I'm noticing so far here in Barnaul that air quality is better than Novosibirsk, where it's pretty horrendous, to be honest. And I suppose that's because we're on the edge of Altai. I'm half tempted on the way back from Kazakhstan to go to Altai. There's a town called Altai Gornosk or something like that that's not too far away. I could uh, have a quick look. Traveler's coffee there. There's quite a few of these in Russia. Used to be one in Odessa in Ukraine. Like so many other cities in Russia, we got a Tsum shopping center. Looks all right. Uh, right, everyone. We have what looks like another university building, but I'm not sure. Let's see who this dude is. Oh, they got that kind of Russian handwriting that's difficult to read uh Ablechim Mura Ponas I don't know wow well, everybody things are starting to look up in Barnaul ding dong tell you what everybody I'm going to sit down in the shade I'm going to have a look on the map on my phone and see if I can find anything interesting in this city because so far there's zero all right, everybody, so continuing down Lenina Street, hopefully at this street at some point I'm going to see something attractive. I mean, it looks like if you keep going down the street, you just get to wilderness. I can see forests in the distance. Yeah, so it's just the same over and over and over in the city. I tell you what, everybody, there's a lot of police in this city for some reason. And quite a few soldiers walking around. Okay, everybody, so I've at last found something interesting. A church. And it is a nice church, to be honest. I like it. And what the hell is going on here? We've got a statue in front, but he's covered up. Maybe it's new and uh, they're going to have a unveiling ceremony. But look at the rest of the city, for Christ's sake. This is supposed to be the main street. Now, normally, in this kind of situation, I'd try and keep you entertained with some humour, but what can I make jokes about? I know what's going to happen. I'm going to publish this video saying I don't like Barnaul very much. 
Then I'm going to get lots of comments saying, No, Bano is a beautiful city. You just don't know where to go to all travels. But I've been walking around quite a lot today. And so far I've seen diddly squat. I suppose the way to live in a city like Badnao is to spend a lot of time in nature because uh, we're in the Altai region here, like I said, so I'm sure there's some very beautiful nature and around, around. So yeah, I'm sure most people in Badnao like to get out in the countryside at the weekends. Yeah, so that's the best thing I can say about Badnao so far. It's leafy, as we say in English. Now I could go all the way back the way I came up that hill or I could sit here and call a taxi and go back to the hotel. Look everybody, I was watching a bit of this video by this uh, Australian kind of cowboy type that's living in Russia called Siberian Freedom. And it says, by now, oh, beautiful city, a Siberian treasure. What the hell are you talking about, mate? I'm sure if it was a beautiful city, he could have dedicated more than 12 minutes to the video. <laughs> now, if you actually live in Barnaul, maybe it's not too bad, you know. You've got your family here, all your life here, you can be very happy. Maybe there's good nightlife in the city. At the weekends, you can go, I don't know, hiking or mountain biking or fishing or what, whatever you like. But uh, nobody who is not under the influence of drugs can say this is a good city. But if you're, but if you're thinking of coming to Barnell for tourist purposes, then please forget it. You know, if uh, you're on the way to Altai, for example, maybe stop here and get some petrol or a sandwich or something like that, then put the foot down, put your foot down and get the hell out of here.